The Paris School of International Affairs was created in 2010 under the direction of Richard Descoings and Hassan Salami. It quickly became the largest Sciences Po graduate school, international affairs being a tradition at Sciences Po and a specialty sought by a majority of our French and international students. PSIA was built on values of diversity, diversity of students and their academic excellence, diversity of the teaching staff. We are trying to have a mix of first-class academics on the one hand and also people with a lot of practical experience to share with our students, be it from the private sector or from the public one. In sync with the evolution of the world and diplomacy, PSIA has welcomed public figures including Mario Draghi, then governor of the ECB, most of the UN Secretary Generals, including Kofi Annan, and his assistant, Lakdar Brahimi, who was awarded a doctorate honoris causa. In 2015, Hassan Salemi was succeeded by former Italian Prime Minister Enrico Letta. Ever since, if it wasn't already evident, he has imprinted his pro-European Union convictions at the school, campaigning for a European response to the migration crisis. It's under his leadership that the Youth and Leaders Summit was created, an annual conference which takes place every January, inviting the visits of Emmanuel Macron, Romano Prodi, Irina Bokova, Margret Vestager and many others. Listen to the different perspectives of the speakers and try to use their points of view from policymakers to journalists, working in health, uh, education. It's all at the very core of it is an informed and connected answer and I think that the panelists today did an incredible job of really pointing that. But students don't just content themselves by engaging with powerful decision makers in the Boot Me Amphitheater. They too are at the forefront of official diplomatic summits, such as the Paris Peace Forum, where more than 100 students participated in the first two editions. I'm introducing a panel on UN reform, and that panel is going to uh, essentially address the issue of creating a world parliament or how we can reform the United Nations General Assembly. This one is about energy, but before that there was uh, debates about democracy, and of course it relates to what we, um, I think, all want to work in later. The evolution of the world is above all the evolution of the climate. PSIA students are at the forefront of Make It Work events, the first conference having been inaugurated by U.S. President Jimmy Carter. If we can get this uh, present generation of students to exert their will and to use their political influence, it'll be a very key positive role. PSIA has launched several thematic chairs, such as the Chair in Sovereign Debt, inaugurated in November 2019 by former Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras. PSIA joined the Global Partnership in Economic Diplomacy with the OECD and other universities and the European Science Diplomacy Initiative in collaboration with Carlos Moedas, EU Commissioner for Research, Science and Innovation, and Helga Nowatny, Professor Emerita, ETH Zurich, former ERC President. The school is part of the APSIA Network of Professional Schools of International Affairs, a network chaired by Enrico Letta. There is no shortage of projects for this young but already recognized school proud to count on the support of its alumni community to further its development. La force de Sciences Po est naturellement la force des relations entre vous, ce que vous représentez et l'institution universitaire. Sciences Po.